Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about four projects I recommend every aspiring junior cloud engineer build. I've laid them out in a specific order as well, but at the end of the day, you can build them in whatever order you'd like. But there's reason to the order, of course. With all that being said, hi, I'm GPS. I do cloud things at Microsoft here on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all those good things, and welcome to a new video. You don't even have to watch this video, to be honest. You can just go to learn to cloud.guide. And on the left side, I have a bunch of phases here. And each phase will have a capstone. So you can see right here, the capstone for the Linux phase is a cloud uploader CLI. I mentioned that these projects have an order and they very much follow that order of Learn to Cloud. If you're not familiar with what Learn to Cloud is, it's a guide I wrote almost three years ago now. It's based off firsthand experience and it's exactly how I would learn the fundamentals of cloud engineering if I had to start from scratch all over again. It's pretty much based off my experience working in cloud and we start with linux networking programming cloud platform devops because ultimately the cloud is just a hodgepodge a mix of so many different skills the capstones are one per phase and also follow this exact order the first one is a cloud uploader cli I've been very, very, very intentional with how I lay out these projects. The first two have a good amount of guidelines and to an extent instructions, advice and tips. And then the third and the fourth are a little bit more abstract. So my goal is to kind of mimic sort of a professional scenario where you're a beginner, you'll probably have as much help as possible as much guidance as possible. And as you grow, you're going to less and less depend on others and more depend on your own skills and abilities. So the first one here is to create a bashed based CLI tool. And your tool should be able to upload a file like this. And I give you an example. And I also give you steps. First up here, create a GitHub repo. Then you've got set up an authentication, CLI argument parsing, file check, file upload, upload feedback, advanced features, documentation, and distribution. Now my goal for this first one is for you to have your first project on GitHub and that's probably one of the most important parts here. Get that GitHub going, get your readme going, get that first project on, get a little bit of experience of what it's like to build something that works in your cloud environment. But ultimately it is a pretty simple tool However, you do learn a couple of things that I find pretty important in terms of bash, like parsing, there's auth, there's file checks. It's a couple of things actually. Uh, if you do more advanced features, you'll see stuff like you can add a progress bar, which you'll learn how to like customize a terminal, which I think is pretty cool. Also, uh, I think you can do things like uh, upload multiple files, so then you can get familiar with iteration and things like that. But ultimately, a simple project, but the goal really here is to set your foundations in terms of a Linux and Bash skill set. Now, if you have no experience whatsoever with Bash or Linux, my one, number one resource that I always recommend is this book right here, Linux Basic for Hackers. Highly recommend it. If you're not familiar with Learn to Cloud in general, it has resources, it has kind of everything you need to teach yourself this stuff, but today we're just focusing on the projects. But take a look at that if um, you need resources for other areas. The second phase, it's still quite detailed, the capstone. It's a serverless movies API. I should also let you all know that I update these capstones at this point, at least once every two months. So if you did the capstone earlier this year and you go back, most likely it's different. I try to keep them updated and in, you know, with what the market is demanding. So that's why they change. Okay, so the second one, you can see that overall I'm still providing capstone steps, but my goal here is to have you create an API with serverless functions that displays movie information. 
And of course, don't forget to create a GitHub repo and document in your README. Now, I have always said that if anyone gives you advice that you don't need to know how to code for cloud engineering, they're giving you wrong advice. You don't need to know how to make full end-to-end -end websites, how to design something pretty, no. But if you understand how to work with an API, create your own APIs, how to work with other cloud services like databases, uh, object storage, things like that, you are going to unlock so many possibilities. And it's sort of like a given now, it's expected. The market is so competitive that if you have the mentality of like, I don't wanna code, you're gonna have a harder time. So my goal for this project is to get you to get that experience of building an API. So I walk you through like, okay, create your cloud infrastructure, prepare your data, create the serverless functions. And I give you what your data model could potentially look like and what should be returned from each one of your API endpoints in this project. If all of this sounds like you have never heard any of this before, again, check out the resources outlined in this phase. But trust me, it may look overwhelming now, but once you sit down and work through it, it's gonna make more sense, all right? Now, with this project, I would ideally want you to dive into fleshing it out a little bit more. Like the first one, you can put it on GitHub, you can document it perfect. But in terms of CI, CD, there's not too much to add there or like DevOps practices in general. With this second one, there's so much potential. You can implement a full CI, CD pipeline. You should be adding some monitoring, some basic monitoring. You can also create a little dashboard with like something like Grafana and have some very basic monitoring information display there too. There uh, should be things like infrastructure as code files that you should be creating for this project. And from this project onwards, you should have all of that in place as well. See, the key to a successful cloud project isn't necessarily having an original idea or building something with a significant amount of traffic. It's more so building a cohesive project because when you are working as a cloud engineer, you're gonna to be touching a bunch of different areas. Some DevOps tasks, some architecture tasks, some infrastructure tasks uh, in the portal, in the CLI or in the console, whatever it is that the UI is called. You're gonna be a little bit all over the place. So building projects where you have exposure to those areas is gonna be a win for you, okay? So keep that stuff in mind. The third project is going to be the Cloud Resume Challenge. I think this project is just, you have to build it. But the way, again, this is laid out, this is the third project. The first one and the second one are gonna give you experience that leads into this one. A lot of people build this one as their first one, which I think is awesome. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like. But from the skills that you gain from the first project laid out in Learn to Cloud, laid out in this video and the second one, this one's gonna be a little bit easier. Now this one is more complex and more complete, which I think is awesome. There's some actual like networking aspects to it. You know, you're uh, setting up a domain, you're setting up a front door, a whole bunch of things, and it can get pretty, pretty involved. I would expect this one to take you, if you're like brand new to cloud, expect this one to take you like a month, a little bit more. The other ones I can see taking anywhere from a week to two weeks. Again, it depends um, what your experience and how much time you are contributing to these things. Uh, but this one is definitely your third project here. And I have links to all the, the flavors, AWS, Azure, and GCP here as well. And finally, the last one is all about DevOps. Now here, a big shout out to Rishab. Rishab has provided an application for everyone. So we're not focused on programming in here. We are focused on implementing DevOps best practices to this project, right? And you can see here the documentation and the outlines are a lot, it's like shorter, it's not as much. So my goal here is to just tell you, all right, I need you to containerize this. I need you to build a CI CD. I need you to build the Kubernetes YAML files, the setup, deploy the containers, uh, the interactivity between the containers and some monitoring and a couple of other things. And yeah, your goal is to grab an application and be the DevOps engineer and implement the DevOps practices there as well. These are four projects I highly recommend you build. Make sure they're on GitHub, make sure you're documenting them on GitHub. And if you can create blog posts or videos or just notes that are like more synthesized, 
like I had mentioned in my previous video about how I study, I think synthesizing your notes is definitely going to like further solidify the skill set in your brain. Additionally, it gives you a place to practice about speaking on your skill sets, which I think is very important when it comes to interviewing or networking and all that good stuff, right? If you do get stuck, honestly, what I would do is just copy the outline of the project and go to ChatGPT and be like, walk me through this step by step. <laughs> Obviously, try your best on your own. And when you do get stuck, leverage that. But when you are working as a professional, there, everything is at your, your disposal. You can use anything to, to get unstuck. So why not do it in your personal projects as well? We do have a Learn to Cloud Discord. People are working on these projects every single day. I do code reviews for these stuff like every week. People share them on LinkedIn. I'm happy to provide feedback. So the links to everything that I mentioned will be in the description. If you do get stuck, drop a comment here or Learn to Cloud Discord is probably your best bet. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these projects. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.